Kern High School principal is facing serious accusations tonight, including that he asked teachers to change student grades. 23 ABC's Stephen Hicks was at the Kern High School board meeting tonight, where a packed house had plenty to say. Stephen? Yeah, good evening, Jackie. It was just a couple hours ago. This boardroom behind me was packed with people, many awaiting time to voice complaints against the current administration, specifically that principal at Miramonte High School. Last week, a Facebook post from the Dolores Huerta Foundation encouraged support for Miramonte principal Jaime Quinones at the upcoming Kern High School School District board meeting. The post said he was one of the few Latino principals remaining in the district. Tonight, the boardroom was certainly packed, but few were in support of the Miramonte principal. Teachers and other staff members are berated at Miramonte. They are harassed. They are belittled. Dolores Huerta was not in attendance, but a representative spoke on her behalf, saying Quinones deserves his due process. We don't want him to say simply because he's Latino. Mm -hmm. We feel that if you look at his track record, the majority of his students are graduating. They're CSU eligible. However, a number of former teachers came forward questioning that record, saying the administration asked them to change student grades. I was faced with two choices. Either do the unethical thing, and get tenure or hold to my values and get fired at the end of the year. He chose instead to resign two weeks later, and he was not the only teacher to do so. This is the case of teachers refusing to be intimidated to commit academic fraud. They are standing up for what is right, even though they may lose their jobs. Several former students from the LGBT community also spoke, saying forms for their clubs would often disappear. One man said teachers were afraid to sponsor his group because they feared they would lose tenure or their job. And for me as educators and as administration, we were told to empower the youth, to give the youth a voice. But if we're bullying each other as adults, how are we giving these kids the opportunity to learn from us? And no action was taken tonight because the board said they were awaiting a formal complaint to be made so that they could go into a closed session and make their decision. Tim, back to you. All right, Stephen, thanks. The